Mr. Mayor, your, uh, your year of being mayor is just about up right now, so uh, we have some people in the audience uh, from different um, legislature and local officials that would like to uh, present you uh, with something special. So first off, uh, I don't know if Ms. Genesis Coronado from Coronado, oh, she is here, great. So we'll call her up first, Ms. Genesis Coronado from Congresswoman Lucille Royball Allard's office. Genesis? Good evening, everyone. On behalf of Congresswoman Lucia Ballard, we are bringing this Certificate of Congressional Recognition to Mayor Hoffmeyer for his service, uh, for his tenure as mayor in this past um, year. Uh, thank you so much for your exemplary, uh, exemplary leadership and your outstanding commitment to improving the quality of life for the residents of Paramount during your tenure. Congratulations. Thank, thank you. you. From uh, Senator, State Senator Ricardo Lara's office, uh, Ms. Tonya Martin. Tonya? Thank you for the clapping. <laughs> you know, it's an honor to be here on behalf of uh, Senator Ricardo Lara. Uh, as you know, Paramount is one of his favorite cities. And um, as you also know, on a personal level, we're gonna, list, we're gonna miss uh, uh, this good looking mayor, one of uh, Paramount's <laughs> best looking mayors, right? I think so. <laughs> so on behalf of Senator Laura, I'd like to present this um, uh, recognition uh, for your unwavering commitment and dedication to the residents of Paramount. Your outstanding dedication and leadership and moving this city forward has improved the quality of life for the residents here. On behalf of the California <coughs> Legislature uh, and the 33rd Senate District, I commend you for your dedicated service. Thank you, sir. Speaker Anthony Rendon's office, uh, Veronica Ledesma. Veronica? I, I, uh, I was honored to go to his uh, facility of work and um, reminded us of of my childhood here in Paramount riding horses, so we, it's our inside joke now. <laughs> um, on behalf of Assemblymember Anthony Rendon, we would like to present to you this recognition um, of dedicated service to our community as the mayor of the city of Paramount on behalf of the California State Assembly and the 63rd Assembly District. Thank you for your tireless efforts to make our community a better place. Signed by Anthony Randon, Speaker of the State Assembly, 63rd District, today, April 4th. Thank you very much. Next up, from the LA County Sheriff's Department, Captain Jim Wolak and Lieutenant Scott Hogan. Hey. I'd first like to uh, introduce myself. I'm the new captain at uh, the Lakewood Sheriff's Station that serves the great city of Paramount. Uh, I agree with uh, the pastor that uh, Paramount is a miracle. I, I grew up here as a deputy. I came back as a lieutenant, and every time I come back, the city's better and better. And that's a really a tribute to the, this city council and also the great people of Paramount. So uh, without further ado, on behalf of uh, the sheriff, Jim McDonald, I'd like to recognize uh, the mayor, Mr. Hoffmeyer, in recognition of your outstanding leadership and partnership with both law enforcement and the residents of Paramount. During your service as mayor, 
You promote a positive atmosphere through an emphasis on teamwork, trust, transparency, and mutual respect. The men and women of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department join me in thanking you for your support and wishing you well in all your future endeavors. And on a personal note, Mr. Hoffmeyer has been a great friend of law enforcement. And uh, once again, I am blessed to be back. Thank you very much. County Fire Department, Assistant Fire Chief Nick Duvalli. Thank you for having me. Um, on behalf of Fire Chief Darrell Osby, all the men and women of the Fire Department, and specifically Paramount's very own Fire Station 31, we'd like to thank you for your time as mayor and the city's support of the Fire Department. It's always unwavering. And from the Paramount Chamber of Commerce, we have a Leonard Crespo, Mr. Leonard Crespo. I want to thank you for uh, allowing me to be up here today, and I'm very proud to uh, present to Mr. Hoffmeyer on behalf of the chamber a uh, certificate and a gift card. But before I do that, I would like to read a short bio on our mayor. Daryl Hoffmeyer, a native of Prigma Primgar, Iowa, moved to California after serving in the United States Marine Corps in the late 1950s. He settled in Paramount. He settled in Paramount and eventually came to own Romberg Milling and Paramount Cubing, one of the last businesses in town with its roots in the city's former days as a leading dairy center. Darrell served on the city's Park and Recreation, Public Works, and Planning Commissions and was elected to the City Council in 2003. Darrell has served two previous terms as the city's mayor and is finishing his third term as mayor. Darrell is also a member of the California Joint Powers Insurance Authority Board. What this tells us is that Darrell has been a servant to the city of Paramount, and we are lucky to have had someone like that serving our needs and interests. So I am proud on behalf of the Paramount Chamber of Commerce, Darrell, to present to you a certificate of outstanding service and also a gift card to one of our new establishments in town, The Habit. <laughs> and next up we have from the Paramount Unified School District uh, board members Anderson and Hansen. And if there are any other board members that appeared, um, that showed up, looks like An Anderson and Hansen. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Daryl, on behalf of the Paramount Unified School District and Board of Education, we'd like to honor you for an impactful term as mayor of the city. Your leadership this year helped galvanize our district and community. Your support of our schools has unified our city beyond the pursuit of helping our children achieve successful futures. Your service to this city extends back through three terms and transcends any office that you may hold. It's that continued service that has helped Paramount Unified shape an achievement culture for our young minds leading to higher test scores and more prepared students for colleges and careers. Please know that you have unconditional support from Paramount Unified, and we wish you all, continued, wish, wish you all the continued success and fulfillment that you have helped bring to this city. Thank you ever so much. We appreciate you. Mr. Mayor, 
from your fellow city council members. Daryl, on behalf of the entire city council, I want to congratulate you on your term as mayor. As we all know, there were some great accomplishments this past year. The creation of our new downtown, the restaurant openings, and the mobile city council meetings that were your idea. This year, our city faced some challenges, which unfortunately, no city is immune to. Through it all, Daryl, you handled things with a calm steadiness and helped guide us through those ups and downs. Daryl, we are grateful for your leadership, your generosity, and love for this city. Thank you for a job well done. Jean, I don't have an hour speech, but uh, <clears throat> anyway, I just want to thank my wife, my family, members of the city council, city staff, city attorney, everybody who uh, made this year the year it was. Paramount's come a long, long ways since I've been on the city council now for 14 years. And uh, if you just look back at what it was 20 years ago, 25 years ago, when this all started and where we're at today, I think you have to agree with us that you know we've made a lot of progress. This has been a great year in the city of Fairmont. <laughs> this has been a great year in the city of Fairmont. As you can tell when you drove up here tonight, that new downtown area. We have the Habit. We have uh, Waba Grill, Chipotes down on the corner of Alondra and Paramount. We have IHOP is going to be opening up probably in July or August. And uh, Hiccups Cafe is in town, so we have lots of different places that you can stay and eat in Paramount. I just want to say one last thing that it's been an honor this year to be your mayor. And it uh, hasn't been an easy year. It's been a tough last four or five months. But uh, we, we've came through this. We're getting through it. And uh, I know that everything hasn't worked out exactly perfect. But we're doing the best we can, and the city council and our new, leader, our new council member coming in, I'm sure we're all going to be able to just keep up the challenge and keep up the good work and make Paramount a safe place to live and work and worship. Thank you. Item number three, electronic reorganization, resolution number 17011. Reciting the facts of the general municipal election consolidated with the special countywide election held on March 7, 2017, and declaring the results. Staff report, please. Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor and Council, as you know, we held an election on March the 7th, 2017. Our next step is to uh, adopt a resolution declaring the results so everything is official. And with it, I'll turn it over to our city clerk, Ms. Lana Chikami, to handle the item. Lana? Honorable Mayor and Council members, a general municipal election was held in the city of Paramount on March 7th, 2017 to elect two members of the city council. The election was consolidated with the countywide special election, and the Los Angeles County Registrar Recorder County Clerk certified the election on March 21st. The successful candidates are Lori Guillen and Peggy Lemons. And they were elected to serve four-year terms. It is recommended that the City Council adopt resolution number 17011, declaring the results of the March 7th election. I make a motion we read by title only and adopt resolution number 17011. Second. Move to second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Daniels? Yes. Councilmember Hansen? Yes. Councilmember Martinez? Yes. Vice Mayor Lemons? Yes. Mayor Hoffmeyer? Yes. Item number four, oath of office, staff report, or? Oh. Yep. 
Do you have to change? Yeah. Councilmember Lemons, please raise. Please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California against all enemies, foreign and domestic? That you will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California? that you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which you're about to enter. I do. I do. Congratulations, and City Manager Moreno will present your certificate of election to you. Five. Oath of office is next, Mr. Mayor. Five reorganization. Reorganization, I'm sorry. Ready to go? Okay. Nominations are open for mayor. Are there any nominations? I nominate Vice Mayor Lemons. Nominations are closed. Please indicate your choice for mayor. Guillen? Abstain. Hansen? Lemons. Hoffmeyer? Lemons. Lemons? Lemons. Martinez. Lemons. Congratulations, Mayor Lemons. Thank you. Can I switch it down? Switch it down? No, okay. we're good. Okay? Yeah, we're good. Um, I want to thank you for this opportunity to serve this year. I certainly appreciate it. And I'd also like to take this opportunity to introduce you to my family, my husband and my best friend for 44 years, my husband Don. <laughs> My daughter Brandy and my other daughter Shannon's actually in Germany tonight, so she couldn't be with us. But they're both proud pirates, and I'm proud of them. <laughs> and the light of my life, the whole reason for my being anymore, my beautiful granddaughter Michaela. <laughs> Thank you very much. Nominations are now open for the office of Vice Mayor. Madam Mayor, I would like to nominate Council Member Martinez for Vice Mayor. Any other nominations? The nominations are closed. Roll call, please. Please indicate your choice for Vice Mayor. Guillen. Martinez. Hansen. Martinez. Hoffmeyer. Martinez. 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 <laughs> Mayor Lemons. Martinez. Thank you. Congratulations, Diane. It is an honor to serve as vice mayor in the incoming year. And as always, I will continue to represent you in a respectful, professional manner. Thank you. Now it's time for presentations. At this time, we'd like to recognize some very special people. We're going to start with our Lions Club. So if any members of the Lions Club are in the audience, if you'd come forward at this time, we'd appreciate it. Our Lions Club has been a generous member of this community for many years. Their focus has been primarily on helping the youth of our city. Part of that focus has involved giving thousands of dollars to the Paramount Education Partnership Scholarship Fund, specifically for students enrolled in vocational training programs. The National Lions Club was founded in 1917, so this year marks their 100th anniversary. Congratulations. <laughs> In 
light of that centennial celebration, tonight we salute our own Lions for being such a positive force in the city of Paramount. Congratulations. Would Elizabeth Castro from the Fair Housing Foundation come up if she's with us? The Federal Fair Housing Act was passed in April of 1968. As a result, every April is Fair Housing Month throughout the county. The purpose is to celebrate the principle that all people will be treated equally in the sale or rental of housing. The Fair Housing Foundation serves the residents of Paramount with mediation, counseling services, and investigates discrimination in housing. They also provide workshops, training, and community events for tenants and property owners or managers. As a matter of fact, they will be holding a management training workshop on Monday, April 24th from 1 to 5 at Progress Park. We strongly support anti-discrimination laws and are proud to be a participant in the Fair Housing Month. And we have a proclamation for you, Elizabeth. Um, Iris Iligan, Dolores Tripp, and any other members of the Friends of the Library, please come forward. <laughs> Iris is the Community Library Manager for our Paramount Branch, and Dolores is President of Friends of the Library. <laughs> Tonight, we are proclaiming April 9th through the 15th as National Library Week. The theme this year is Libraries Transform. Our first library, the Clearwater Branch, opened over a century ago. Our current building across the street from City Hall on Jackson Street has been open since 1968. The library has a full schedule of special events and programs throughout the year. The staff has always provided quality service and been extremely customer friendly. The library is one of Paramount's most cherished resources and it plays an important role in our community. Thank you very much. Public Library, I'd like to thank the City Council, um, the city officials, and the community of Paramount for being so supportive of the library. And especially now in these times, thank you for your continued support. Um, and if you want to learn about any, any of our resources that we offer you, we're open Tuesday through Saturday. And I'm there every day. <laughs> thank you. Sorry, cut you guys off. <laughs> Would Desiree Hernandez come forward? Is Desiree here with us? Nope, David? Oh, there she is. Yes? She's there she is, okay. And also, is uh, Linda Johnson from Supervisor Hahn's office with us? No, okay. Desiree is a seventh grader at Paramount Park School who has just given, been given a great honor. Every year, the County of Los Angeles Public Library System holds a contest for students <clears throat> from kindergarten through 12th grade to design bookmarks. This year, there were 8,500 designs sent to the Board of Supervisors. Each supervisor then chooses a winner in four different grade categories for their district. Des LeRae was the winner in the 6th through 8th grade category in Supervisor Hahn's 4th district. In other words, her design was one of the 20 best out of 8,500 submissions.
What you're viewing on the screen is Desiree's bookmark. Tonight, we recognize her great accomplishments and talent and thank her for representing Paramount so well. And we also have a certificate for you, Desiree. be here and I'm happy that I was one of the winners and I want I want to thank also my parents for always supporting me and helping me to be the best. Now please welcome Luisa Carolina or Carol Rivera from the organization One Legacy. April is National Donate Life Month, which highlights the importance of organ tissue and blood donations. In California, the DMV has a Donate Life Registry that lets people identify themselves as organ donors on their driver's license. Since the program started 10 years ago, registered organ, eye, and tissue donors in California have saved nearly 7,000 lives and helped an estimated 600,000 more. You can sign up for organ donation when getting or renewing your license or ID card, or you can go online to donatelifecalifornia.org. For blood donations, you should contact the American Red Cross. We'd like to present you tonight with a certificate of congratulations, and thank you for all you do. Good evening. Thank you, Mayor, Councilman, and the City of Paramount for the support of the DMB and on a life month. Um, my connection with uh, One Legacy is that my son passed away when he was 22 years old at nine, nine years ago. And, um, excuse me, it never gets better, <laughs> sorry. Um, <clears throat> with his gift of life, he helped over 50, 55 people to have a better life. And um, we need more donors. People don't realize that we have an enormous amount of people waiting to be, waiting to have an organ or tissue, corneas, etc. And it just takes five minutes to go online and register to become donors. Because there's too many people that die in waiting. To, for an organ, um, and without the help of everybody, we cannot succeed. Um, the help of One Legacy, it's the bridge that brings together the donors and the recipients. Without them, this wouldn't be happening. And I wanna thank everybody for your time.
tonight we're going to recognize some very special people in the Paramount community. But first, along with my colleagues, I'm happy to proclaim May as Paramount Education Month. This is the time we honor students and teachers from the Paramount Unified School District, as well as the Paramount Education Partnership, better known as PEP. The city has promoted the importance of education for many years. We have an amazing partnership with the school district, which is a rare thing when it comes to cities and districts. Recognizing the people here tonight is just one of the ways in which the city supports education and one of the many programs that make our community strong. Joining us are members of the Paramount Unified School District Board of Education and the district superintendent. Please come forward when your names are called. Board President Linda Garcia, Board Vice President Vivian Hansen, Board Member Alisa Anderson, Board Member Sonia Cuellar, Board Member Tony Pena, and Superintendent Dr. Ruth Perez. I'd also like to bring up the members of the PEP Board of Directors. We greatly appreciate the time and the leadership that they provide throughout the year. Please join us if you're here. Chairman Matt Kanabi of Englander, Kanabi, and Allen. Board member Glenn Clausen, Paramount Petroleum. Board member Dr. Max Martinez. Board member John Tanklage, Marcon Vinegar, USA. By the way, it's interesting to note that we are expanding the board by two members. They will be Superintendent Dr. Perez and Alicia Valadez from Northgate Markets. Also, Supervisor Janice Hahn's local representative, Linda Johnson, will be replacing Aaron Stiebel. First up tonight, I would like to invite representing the Paramount Chamber of Commerce for a PEP presentation, Vice President Brenda Olmos. Well, good evening, Paramount. Good evening. Good evening. It's great to be here tonight and joining the celebration of Education Month. Um, and the Paramount Chamber strongly supports education, understands the impact and, ha and what it has on our economic future. The Chamber, in cooperation with Cart Cartridge World, collects used toner and ink cartridges, recycles them, and turns them into cash. Thanks you, thank you to all the businesses, the residents who actually take the time to bring their used cartridges to the chamber for recycling. Because of these businesses and residents, we have less trash in our landfills. And because of that, we actually have the opportunity, as we will tonight, to present this check to the PEP for more scholarships for our children in Paramount, and that's amazing. Thanks for the PEP organization. We are, we, we're very happy to have you around. Education Partnership's 14th year of giving out college scholarships. The scholarships are made possible by the generous offerings of the business community and the support that they give to our annual PEP fundraiser. We also host smaller fundraisers at local businesses throughout the year. For example, this past year we held fundraisers at Yogurtland, Alondra Hot Wings, or Chataria Rilo Luna, Gus's Deli, and Chipotle. Each of these businesses have given us a percentage of their sales for that day of what customers spent. We would like to thank each of them for giving back to the community. Let's give them a hand. <laughs> Another annual fundraiser is Pennies for Pep held in March throughout the school district. We will recognize this year's top performers a little later tonight, but I need to point out what a remarkable success it has become. Last year was a record breaker for Pennies for Pep. 
the district raised more than $20,000. But as they say, records are meant to be broken. This past March, Paramount Unified School District, with Dr. Perez cheerleading and setting goals, raised just a little bit more money. Altogether, $114,000. The combined fundraising efforts produced a total of $188,000 for our scholarship fund. <laughs> Due to these amazing efforts, the PEP board was able to increase the number of scholarships from 24 to 36. You can find the entire list of this year's donors on the city's website and in the May issue of the Pulse Beat newspaper. Before we get to the latest recipients, I want to acknowledge the Scholarship Selection Committee. If you're in the audience, please stand when your name is called. These volunteers read and rated every one of the 187 applications that came in. So this was a huge effort. If you're here tonight, again, please stand when your name is called. Paula Cooney from Zamboni Company. Dr. Greg Franciosas from the Paramount Unified School District. Flo Haynes from Weber Metals. Dr. Myrna Morales, Paramount Unified School District. Dr. Ryan Smith, Paramount Unified School District. Mandy Stevens, Paramount Resident. Lourdes Telemantes, Paramount Unified School District, and Sandra Wetchell, Marcon Vinegar, USA. Give them a big round for all their hard work. <laughs> the PEP scholarships are given to students attending a two or a four year, four year college or technical school. The scholarships range from $1,000 to $4,000. The selection is based on academics, an essay, outside activities, future goals, and economic need. And now I am proud to announce this year's PEP scholarship winners. If you're here, please come up as I say your name, your school of choice, and your major of choice. Ashley Alamejo, UCLA Neurology. Juli Alvarado, UCLA Statistics. Celeste Aspazita, San Jose State Aviation. Rommel Barantes, Cal State Fullerton Nursing. Samantha Castro, UCLA Biomedicine. Alejandro Cordova, BYU Geological Sciences. Christopher Duran, UCLA Pre-Law. Brian Espertu, UC Santa Barbara Pre-Law. Maribel Flores, Cal State Long Beach Psychology. Angelina Florimon, El Camino College Business Administration. Michael Guerra, Duke University, Nursing. <laughs> Lizbeth Hernandez, Cerritos College, English. <laughs> Carolina Arado, UC Irvine, Nursing. <laughs> Martina Ibrahim, University of New Haven, Criminal Justice. <laughs> uh, 
Amalia Macias, Cal State Long Beach Nursing. Kiana Magana, UC Davis Anthropology. Nathalia Mendoza, Chico State Education. Anahi Moreno Romos, UC Irvine Psychology. <laughs> Judith Morello, UCLA Pre Law. <laughs> Sydney Serra Neote, BYU Psychiatry. Ezekiel Nova Claremont McKenna, Chemical Engineering. <laughs> Natalie Ortega, Cal State Long Beach Animation. <laughs> Emily Ortiz, USC Journalism. <laughs> Zoe Fanong, UCLA Neuroscience. <laughs> Catalin Perez, UC Irvine Pre Med. <laughs> Alberto Quintana Yavez, UC San Diego Aerospace Engineering. Rosalind Reyes, Cal State Fullerton Pre-Law. Oh. <laughs> Vivian Rodriguez, University of Redlands, Psychiatry. <laughs> Giselle Rosales, Long Beach City College, Pre-Med. Danielle Ruiz, UC Davis, Nursing. Nicole Ruiz, Cal State Fullerton, Nursing. Beatrice Salazar, Cal State Dominguez Hills, Education. Jasmine Solorzano, UC Berkeley, Pre-Med. <laughs> Melissa Torres, Cal State Fullerton, Graphic Design. <laughs> Julia Vartan Casey, Life Pacific College, Therapy. and Jesus Victoria, UC Santa Barbara, Pre-Law. <laughs> on behalf of the City Council, we would like to congratulate you on all of your hard work and your continued success. Paramount is very proud of each and every one of you. Now, if you'll all make your way back to the Okay, as we get reorganized a little bit here, I would like to take this opportunity to recognize the people who deserve above and beyond recognition for what these students are doing. Having been uh, the parent of a college student, I know where the real stress lies. So if the parents of the kids would please stand up, all the students that got scholarships today so that we can recognize you. Please stand. Thank you. Now we're going to acknowledge the wonderful kids and staff of Paramount Unified who gave a ton of spare change this year during the Pennies for Pep. There were the usual collection containers at the district office and at city facilities. 
However, under T Dr. Perez's leadership, something new was held at the elementary and middle schools. What made this year so sensational is that special events were held and creative ways were developed to encourage donations. It all ended up with that $114,000 I mentioned earlier. Everyone throughout the city who contributed deserves special thanks. But tonight, we're recognizing those who attracted the most donations. Please come up as I mention your school and your name. Five schools made the $10,000 club, raising at least that much money. Jackson Middle School, Principal Kelly Anderson. Paramount Park Middle School, Principal Kevin Longworth. Zamboni Middle School, Principal Sue Sakali. Alondra Middle School, Principal Lynn Butler. Paramount High West Kansas Campus Principal Elizabeth Salcedo. There was also a competition among schools like College Basketball's March Madness with brackets and winners moving forward. The top school in this competition was Jackson School and Principal Anderson. And the top fundraising school overall was no surprise Jackson and Principal Anderson. They raised <laughs> They raised $31,000. All of our principals All of our principals are getting the pennies for Pep Piggy Bank awards for their great work. Do we have one of the piggy banks to show? It's up front already? Great, okay. As I stated before, this activity made it possible to award 12 extra scholarships this year. What's just as important as the money is the enthusiasm that Pennies for Pep brings to all of our campuses. Like the kids getting really excited about the whole concept of going to college. It has turned into a great advertisement for higher education. This concludes the PEP portion of tonight's program. Every campus at the Paramount Unified School District names a Teacher of the Year. Tonight we are saying thank you to these outstanding educators. Please come up as I say your name and school to receive a special gift bag from the city. Anna Figueroa, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> Ashley Goins, Alondra. Marguerite Brennan Collins. Margaret Armenta Gaines. Alicia Ledesma Hollydale. Alejandra Marquez Jackson. Anne Rupla Jefferson. Cindy Sang Keppel. 
Nalene Consalvo Lincoln. Carrie Chavez Los Cerritos. Kimberly Carson Mokler. Danielle Colhane, Paramount Park. Carmelina Scales, Roosevelt. Laura McCardo, Tanner. Anita Kang, Wirtz. Kimberly Rosales, Zamboni. Fernando Cervantes, Buena Vista. Karina Alba, Paramount High School. Mina Choi, Paramount High School. Daniel Diaz, Paramount Adult School. The dedication of these professionals to the education of our children is greatly appreciated. We congratulate and thank each and every one of you. Next, we'd like to honor three special students from the Paramount High School class of 2017. Please come up when your name is called. Co-valedictorian, Arlene Aliman. Co-valedictorian, Jesus Salazar. Salutatorian, Gabrielle Garcia. Arlene has been named a 2017 Edison Scholarship winner, which gives her a $40,000 scholarship to pursue the fields of science, technology, engineering, or math. She will be attending Stanford. Jesus will be attending the University of California, San Diego, and Gabriel will go to UCLA. Yay. Both of them have received a UC Regents Scholarship, the most prestigious scholarship awarded to UC undergraduate students. We all wish you the best in the exciting years to come, and we thank you for representing Paramount so well. So there's the kickoff for Education Month, and what a kickoff it is. For all of you in education who work so hard to give our children a better tomorrow, thank you for coming out tonight. You make Paramount the great city that it is, and the city council, and the school board, and the PEP board appreciate your efforts. Corner, please give a warm welcome to the pride of Paramount, Charles Huerta. <laughs> Come on up here, Charles. Charles started boxing at age eight 
and had more than 300 amateur fights in national and international tournaments, including the World Championships in Romania, where he won a bronze medal. In 2004, he competed in the Olympic trials and came within one victory of becoming an Olympian. It was at that point that Charles took on the nickname, the Pride of Paramount. He graduated from Paramount High in 2004 and turned pro at 21. His professional record is 19 wins and five losses with 12 KOs, and he is sponsored by Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Productions. In his most recent bout on April 14th, which was called the Battle of Los Angeles, he knocked out the undefeated Ivan Delgado. In the television interview that followed his victory, Charles proudly talked about Paramount and how much he loves our city. He has never forgotten where he comes from and continues to make this city proud. Tonight, we are showing him how proud Paramount is of him. Uh, I just want to thank everybody here from the City of Paramount. Um, every time I go in that ring, I do represent the City of Paramount well, and I'm proud to say I'm from Paramount. Um, it's a big city. Everybody, at times I'm in Paramount, everybody recognizes me or says hi, and uh, keep doing our city proud. And uh, that's what I'm trying to do. Every fight I go in there, and I, I go representing Paramount. So thank you all. <laughs> 